there's something in you that just wants to bend the world over, boom, and smack it on its ass just, just to conquer. You have like a heart that is wild. You have a desire to explore, to have adventure in your life, to conquer. You also have a desire to protect the ones that you love, the people that you care about. You have a desire to become so powerful, someone that can shape the world, someone like Alexander the Great at a young age, you know, just going in and conquering these new worlds, leading armies, training hard, comp competing, fighting, building yourself up. You have all of this inside of you. This is what makes you a man. This is really testosterone too. Testosterone is like making you feel horny all the time. You see girls walking down the street. You're like thinking about, you know, you're fantasizing. This is natural. This isn't something you need to be ashamed of. This raw aggression, assertiveness, being a leader. It's all within you. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is how we are as men. If we do not acknowledge this, if we do not find a way to be more of that, to incorporate that within our modern existence, we will be miserable. A lot of the world these days is trying to like take your nuts and chop, chop, castrate you. You do that to a donkey, you can lead the donkey. It's very gentle. It's very tame. It goes where you want it, but it lacks spirit. It lacks heart. It lacks thumos. And that's what I'm saying for all the young guys here, for any guy here, but especially you guys in your 20s, is you don't want to get away from that core. You want to develop a centeredness in your life, something like where you feel like a man. I, I can say that I feel like a man. I don't easily get pulled apart. When something maybe difficult comes along, something, you know, just some something chaotic, it doesn't like push me off that center. I don't get emotional about it. I don't, when I say emotional too, I know a lot of you guys, well, men can cry, men can have emotions. It's okay to be emotional. Some people really like to argue about this. As a man, you don't want to be led and pulled here and there, left and right by your emotions. You need to be calm and grounded and centered because people are looking up to you. As men, you're supposed to be within a group and, and you're supposed to be a force to be reckoned with within that group. Someone that people can depend on, that you protect. You know, you, you're, you're the late night watch. You're staying up and protecting the tribe. The thing is, we all live alone these days. We're so individualized, com you know, compartmentalized. Like, we don't have that group. We're just left to be here alone. A lot of us decide to take this lone wolf path. We're antisocial. We don't talk to many people. We put ourselves in a little cocoon and operate within that because we know that if we have routine, the more routine that we built up for ourselves, the less uncertainty we have to deal with. And so our life becomes very small. It's okay. I think your life should be small in a way, as a little side note, because you don't need to care about everything. You don't need to stand up for every injustice. I didn't know what was going on in Ukraine until I heard it on the news. To be honest, if 50 years ago, I would have never heard about it and I wouldn't have cared, right? So it's okay to care about the people in your proximity, your brotherhood, your tribe. You're not supposed to care about everything. But what I'm saying is that you, a lot of times we limit ourselves from stepping out and having our true power revealed to us because we decide to live so tiny. Our lives are so comfortable and easy. We never are forced to use our other capabilities and to develop them. And so you want to get in touch with that wilderness that is it within you. That aggression. That dark side. The shadow. Even a lot of people, as Carl Jung called it, the shadow side of you. And... If you do not, you will suffer in your relationships. You won't feel like a man. But every woman wants a man. No woman wants a nice boy to date. A woman doesn't want to date a boy. She doesn't want to date someone that's her just like her. She could just be in a lesbian relationship. And even then, it would not, you know, there's always that one big girl that's leading the way. Um, you know, when I say big, I, I don't mean physically. I mean personality. That's more of that masculine energy. And there's a more feminine. Same thing with us. How can you be a man in a relationship and and your woman really feel like you're she's secure, she can love you and be like, hey baby, and always, you know, just obsessed with you if you're not 
feeling like a man yourself. And so you got to get in touch with it. How do you do that these days? You got to break free from all of the bonds that have been put on you. You have to like get hungry. You got to incorporate some more of that aggression in your life through competition, through making your body powerful. It's why I tell all you guys to work out. I tell a lot of you, I know you can't right now all the time, but train a martial art, become a bit dangerous. Become, you know, when you're when you're feeling um like a situation is arising and you don't have any combat skills, no martial arts training, man, it's very scary. And our ancestors were training. Like warriors were training for war. They were prepared. There's no reason that we should not be able to do that these days. I think that you should make an effort to be social. That you should make an effort to network with people and and um, get out there and and just learn how to speak, learn how to join a conversation, and you know learn how to do small talk, learn how to ask questions, to get conversations started, learn how to do all these things, learn how to lead, learn how to calm people down when tempers flare. You need to be able to do this. This is part of being a man. You should also become useful somehow. You should. Think to yourself, man, what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? How can I be useful to other people? Right? Because men are useful. We overcome the odds. We fight wars. We are inventors, creators. We philosophize. You know, we map things out. These are all about useful men. I'm not saying that women aren't useful too, but man is useful. <clears throat> we are supposed to be useful. If you're not useful as a man to other individuals to make other people's lives better, how can you ever be important? How can you ever get what you want if you can't help other people get what they want and make their lives better? It doesn't work. All right? You're not you don't deserve anything and that's the thing is that the world doesn't really care if you feel like a man. So it's up to you. It is your responsibility to go out there to realize what's inside of your heart and to start feeling like a damn man, taking those steps to feeling whole again. So include some adventure in your life. Include competition. Include brotherhood. In have some big goals. Dream a bit. Have a vision. Right? Get excited for your future. Know that you can have a great big family one day. And that you can have a bunch of people that look up to you. And you can actually lead them. And you can be a person that you know pushes up against life and makes the world better. This is all something that you have inside of you. It's actually your heart's desire. And it's what God created us for, is to come here on this earth, to explore it, to make things happen, and to live our lives. Life is simple. But if we get away from what makes us men, we're going to be unhappy. So stop choosing to live a life cowering in fear and uncertainty. Stop living a loser existence in your 20s, making your life so small, just playing video games, not working afraid to move out of your parents' house. These are all things that are naturally going to make you better and stronger and figure it out and give you more, you know, resilience. It's going to calm you down. It's going to you're going to realize, man, when the storms come, I've weathered the storms. I've been through multiple storms. I can keep going. This is nothing to me because I'm a man. Right? And and that's a big thing these days. I don't think a lot of men feel like men. I don't think that it actually feel, I don't think they feel comfortable in who they are. There's a lot of people that hate men and telling you this and that. I'm not here to get mad at them. Mad at them. I think it's our responsibility to find what's in our heart and to live that out. That's our job. All right? So that's all I got to tell you guys. I hope you have a blessed day, a great weekend coming up. We have a bodybuilding competition in our group, the High Thumas Men's Group, coming up on the 15th. Got a couple more days to join. And uh, that's it. I hope to see you soon. Peace.